When people sing happy birthday to you what are you supposed to do? I just admire the candles. I imagine putting them in my butt. Lit or not lit. I see you are a man of philosophy. I think he is a man of literature. Or literature. We're not sure yet. Wow. That was deep. Pun intended? Hmm, this candle is made out of candle. I do what my funeral director co-worker once told me when family members start crying. Find a crack in the wall and stare at it. Y'all sing happy birthday during a funeral? You don't? Well I haven't died yet so I wouldn't know. Definitely asking for this to have this done at my funeral. Also a big buffet around me. Who wouldn't love seeing how creeped out everyone gets wondering if they look like a jerk for not eating? Ha ha, I'd love my funeral to be fun. If I die first you're getting invited, there will be food. Looking forward to your death then. Not too high though. Perfectly splendid idea. Well said Flora. Pick the person you know the least and stare directly into their eyes until it's over. Don't forget to whisper the lyrics to yourself. At a second's delay. This is effing harrowing. This reminds me of salad fingers. The feeling of rust. On my salad fingers. Is almost orgasmic. I like rusty spoons. While slowly applying butter to your nipples and holding your pee until you need to extinguish the candles. This made me chuckle, have an award. Reenact your birth through interpretive dance. I'm getting strong Gina Linetti vibes from this one. I just found out that the actress has been dating Jordan Peeler since 2016 and they have a child. That child will either be humorless or the greatest comedian of the human race. Till Jordan Peele is dating Gina Linetti. And her name is Chelsea Peretti in real life, I absolutely love all of it by the way. No, her legal name is Gina Linetti Spaghetti Confetti. And if you have a lot of time on your hands you can start all the way from conception. I crap you not this is one of the funniest things I have ever read on Reddit. Headbang that way they have to sing it louder and heavier making everyone feel awkward. Yeah let's get this effing circle pit going. I've done this a few times at concerts. Always makes me feel a little giddy. I made this hole and now people are flailing around in it. Feel like a proud father. I once started the most perfectly timed chant of Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang. At a Wu-Tang show. It was glorious. The last opener set had ended and everyone was waiting for them to come out. Like 15 to 20 minutes had passed, still nothing, just a DJ playing random music to keep the crowd hype. I started chanting and the whole crowd joined in and it finally came to an epic crescendo of chanting and Wu-Tang hit the stage and ripped into the mystery of chess boxing. I now put that crap on my resume. You summoned Wu-Tang are you a wizard? Lamao. I honestly feel like I did. I think they were just backstage like nah, they ain't ready. Then they heard the chanting getting bigger and bigger and were like okay, they ready. Just getting louder, and louder, and louder. And then they break out the drums. Happy birthday to yo oh ooh ooh happy birthday to yo oh ooh ooh. Happy birthday mother effer. Happy birthday to yo oh ooh ooh. Comma rock on gesture, rock on gesture. Head bang into the cake and then roll on the floor like you are having a seizure. Tell them your birthday is tomorrow. I will remember to do this next time. Even better, tell them your birthday was yesterday. Sorry guys, my birthday was last year. Guys, my birthday was two months ago. Remember? You all went to Jamie's pool party instead. People born on December 31st might have been rocking this joke on late happy birthday wishes. Lucky bastards. My mom got my sister's birthday wrong and when I told her she told me not to tell anyone, my sister is four. And here you are, telling us all. 
Looks like user Ergon Angel 428 can't be trusted with a secret. I'm making a note of that. Reddit link. Conduct the choir with your hands. Did this with a fork when I was six, best decision of my life. It's all downhill from here. I've wondered about this phrase. Is that good or bad? Downhill implies decline, which is bad, I suppose, but it can also mean it's easier. F man never thought about it that way. You enlightened me. How much lighter are you now? Yes. It's a glass half full, half empty kind of deal it can alternate. It's super cheesy but that is in fact what I've done for the vast majority of my life I need to do something and I've yet to come up with anything better. Singing happy birthday is cheesy. To survive the cheese, you must become the cheese. All my grandma used to do this and I loved it. End it with 5 minute sax solo. Epic sax guy is always an appropriate answer. Dresses into full gold morph suit and pull out a sax as they're singing, commences sax solo after song. I just realized you guys were saying sax. Username checks out. Ask and you shall receive, YouTube link. Careless whisperer who can it be now? Careless whisperer is the only option. You're forgetting Baker Street. I always do sex solo oh wait, you're talking about music? Stutter while saying you too. Getting an Uber to the airport driver, have a good flight. Me, thanks, you too. Still haunts me to this day. I used to work in a bookstore at the airport, I would say have a good flight intentionally just to see people go you too. And then watch when they realize that they effed up. Evil. You monster. That's at least so close together your brain is already processing him saying have a nice day people have effed up worse, if that's haunting you, cherish it for being so harmless tongue. Yeah, you could accidentally address your first grade teacher as mom. Regret. I've done this to my wife a few times. I've accidentally called my wife by my sister's name. Only saying this to make you feel better about yourself. TSA agent, have a nice flight me, thanks you to TSA, me, eventually. The next time you fly. Brian Regan quote? You have a good flight too if you ever fly someday. Don't know when to say the U2 phrase. Take luck. I'll try this out on my next birthday just to see their reactions. Just stand there and feel really awkward. I do that well. Me too. Ong. I found something I do well. So, what you're saying then, is you're a success. Once a year. But still a success. Aw oh, that's a really nice way of thinking about it. You just made me smile. Stare at the cake. Edit. Extra points for being extra creepy edit too. The flames take you back to when you were five and your house burned down. LMFAO I used to sing with them. I pick someone I don't know and unblinkingly stare into their eyes, emotionless. Then, when it's over, I go back to laughing and having a good time. This works especially well if a restaurant finds out it's your birthday, and the staff sings to you. Because you know it hurts them too. But you have to make sure that you do not make weird faces because depending on the amount of aunties or drunk friends you have that have cameras at the ready, those faces you make will be immortalized. So just do what I normally do in any other situation? Stick my hand down my pants? Just smile and wave, boys, smile and wave. Alternatively, stand up straight. Blank face. Stare them deeply in the eyes. And make them feel your judgment without moving a muscle. That's what I do. It's always a fun time. This reminds me, when I worked as a teaching assistant at a mainstream primary school, there was a kid with learning needs who began to scream happy birthday at the top of his lungs for this girl's birthday at the end of the day, everyone in the class was singing too, he just went overboard for whatever reason. He then proceeded to jump out of his table stand up straight, 
blank faced and saluted the class and just stood for about 15 twentieths of a seconds while the class finished singing and cheering for the girl. It was honestly one of the funniest and adorable things I witnessed as a TA, and I had to hold back from crying with laughter in front of the kids. Miss that child, I hope he prospers. Skipper? Don't you think we should tell them that the boat's out of gas? Instructions unclear my family now celebrating my birthday without me. Oh no, did you overlook the comma between wave and boys? Someone give this person an award please. Your wish is my command. Someone give this guy a lap dance please. Your wish is my command. Someone give this guy a blowjob please. No. Unless. He gives you blowjob. That is the law of equivalent exchange. Can't go wrong with this advice. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube. And share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.